the war. And I know, for so long I've known how every soldier here dies, how every battle here ends. But I don't know who won. My people were the chosen ones. We enforced the will of our prophets, the holy seers who led our great covenant of believers along the path to transcendence, the path to the great journey. From the day I could stand, I was trained to fight. In a lake like this, I was watched by the prophets as I fought and learned and won. Not all were strong enough to serve our gods, but I was. It had always been this way for the Covenant, and it would always remain so, or so I once thought. For a short time, the humans resisted us. Their victories were few and costly. Some evidence of their struggle still remains, but not much. It didn't matter how hard they fought. It didn't matter at all. Our power and our belief were unstoppable. So I don't notice the bones beneath my feet anymore. They're just part of the dull, dead gray that surrounds me. My path is set. That smoke on the horizon is the only other thing on this world that didn't die 20 years ago. And so that is the only beacon I have. I know what I must cross before I reach the source of the smoke. My path will take me across the ruin of this world called Kolo. And straight to the great scar burnt into Kolo by our fury and faith. this world in flames. It was the end of everything here. And it was put there by one ship. One hand alone. It was put there by me. This world is dead because of me. And now I need this world to tell me how to live.